Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a full face of makeup with only Dollar Tree makeup. Okay, it's facing this way. So yes, I do have everything in here. The only thing I don't have, I think it's blush. And it was because there was literally like none in the whole store. So we're gonna have to do it without blush. So let's get right into it. So for foundation, the only foundation they had was this one, which is the LA Colors one. It just says liquid makeup. I got it in the color natural because the other ones were like way too dark. Um, it says it helps even out skin tone, flawless looking skin. So we're going to try it out and see how it goes. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more because I am a little bit far. So let's see how it goes. I forgot to say there was also no primer. So we're just literally going to go straight in with the foundation. To apply the foundation, I'm going to use this Nature Republic um, little puff to use it because all of my brushes are dirty so i really wanted to give the foundation a fair chance you know so it doesn't have like any other colors or any other textures it's just literally the foundation on its own i'm sorry i dropped the puff so let's see okay so we're gonna blend this in i'm sorry if i look down i have my mirror here just so i can like see myself better oh my god so right off the bat, this is not my <laughs> this is not my color. It's a bit light, as you can see. Okay, it's a lot more than a bit light. But it is pretty light. I don't know if it's that the puff is soaking it all up or that it is pretty sheer. I feel like the foundation is pretty sheer. It actually doesn't look too bad on camera, but you can still tell it's lighter. Um it has a weirdish smell to it. Just not the best smell. I'm not gonna lie. And the way I'm applying it isn't the best way. Just dropping like a whole pump on your face. So there's a problem because I feel like the concealer is actually a bit darker than the foundation. So we're gonna see how that works out. Honestly, I don't know how that's gonna go. But, yeah. And the smell really is putting me off. I don't like usually things with smells. Like, I'm not a big fan of like skincare that has a scent or stuff like that. So the smell of this is like really putting me off of it. I feel like if you wanted a BB cream and you didn't want to spend a lot of money, this would be a good one. Now, if you want a BB cream that's like expensive and good, the Laura Mercier one, the one that comes in the purple one. That's amazing. Literally, where did it go? <laughs> where did the product go? Okay, so let's add a little bit more on the forehead. I usually barely have to put on my forehead, even though I have like a 10 head. But, oh my god! I'm put a huge dot. That looks like a freaking horn. To be honest, this product, I kind of give it like out of 10, maybe a 3 because it's like very sheer, like, like super sheer, but it is nice. Like I said, like if you just want to put on a little bit so you look a little bit more alive. I mean, for me, that's not the case because it's like paling me out. Like, I look extremely pale, but yeah. So this is a finished product with the foundation. Um, this is how it looks. Okay, it's not focusing. It's focusing on my face. It's literally not focusing. It's just focusing on my hands. So next is the concealer. It's also from LA Colors. It says buildable coverage. I've used this one before. I feel like there is no coverage. It just goes away. Um, I... I don't know, but this is the only concealer they had, so I was like, let's repurchase it and try it out. Um, this is in the color CBCS 300 Nude. Um, I feel like it looks darker than the foundation, or like more peachy, more pink, and I'm very yellow undertoned. So we're gonna see how this works, see how it looks. Um, a little scary but oh god 
Oh no. To hold up my mirror. Oh my god, this looks like a color corrector. You can't see just how pink it is because the light doesn't let you see it. But this looks like a peach color corrector on me right now. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this looks like a peach color corrector. So I guess we're just color correcting <laughs> after foundation. It's fine, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, the good thing about this concealer <laughs> in this moment right now is that most of it does disappear like the coverage it's like really bad like it barely covers it says buildable coverage it could be i'm not gonna try it out just because right now my under eyes already look kind of pink i feel like you guys can't tell because the lighting outside it's like a very rainy day it's gonna rain but what do you expect in Miami? Rains every day. So, um, like I said before, I've had this con I tried this concealer before. Not a fan of it. I feel like it doesn't really cover anything up. And I feel like if you're more yellow undertoned or like olive undertone or warm undertone, this just wouldn't suit you. This is for like a very maybe more some warm undertones, because some people with warm undertones have more pink. I feel like if you have a pink undertone, this will suit you more, but for me, this certainly looks like a color corrector. I know you can't see it too well, but it is. It, it, that is how it looks on me. But yeah, I would I recommend this? No, I give this like a 1 out of 10. Even less than the foundation. Okay, next we're going to do brows, and we're going to use the Color Mates Brow Powder. It's, oh, it's paraben free. This is what it looks like. Um, it's in the color dark brown and medium brown. My eyebrows are dark brown because they're almost black. Actually, my eyebrows, I think they are black, but I never really use black on them because it's like too dark. Okay, so first I'm going to brush out my brows because they're going through it. I have to get them done, but the person I do them with, the woman I do them with, she's on maternity leave, so it's been a month since I've done them. And I still have two more months to go for her to come back, so it's a sad, tragic time. So we're going to use the little brush it comes with. It comes with this little tiny brush. And it's just focusing on my face, that's fine, with this little tiny brush. And we're going to use the darkest color because, like I said, my brows are almost black. But it won't freaking focus. Whatever, the darker color, you guys kind of notice. See how this, oh my god. So the brush picks up a lot of pigment. Let's see. Let's try to do this. Do you guys see this? Like the brush is really hard to handle because it's so tiny. So we're gonna do one with this brush, one brow, and then we're gonna try to see if if the brush is full, and we're gonna try it with like my brush. Oh, the sun is coming out. Ooh. Okay, so right off the bat, if you have like really dark brown brow, dark brown brows, almost black, <sighs> this is not for you. It just really isn't. Um, it's kind of like that orangey brown that like, no, it's just. It's like that orangey red brown that it just doesn't go with your brows. I'm not judging it too much on like how it looks because my brows right now look flippin' crazy because they're not done but the color just doesn't go. I feel like the powder isn't bad if it was your color and I think I would use it with another brush. I'm gonna try doing it with one of my own brushes like since they're longer see how it goes okay so i feel like the product is kind of hard to move it around like once you place it there it's kind of like there to stay but yeah
Okay, so I don't know if you guys can notice. Like the reddish on it, but it's like that red brown color that just doesn't go with like really dark brows. It just, it doesn't <laughs> look good on me. I think if your brows are this color, it might work. Um, it's not the most like pigment, like it's pigmented, but I feel like it doesn't have like, the best coverage. I feel like it would have to like be there for a bit, but this is not my color. It just isn't, but it's not bad. Honestly, this, I would give it like a, like a six out of 10. I would give this a six out of 10. It's way better than the other stuff. So next we're gonna contour with the LA Colors Contour Sculpt and Shape Your Face. Um, it's in the color Deep, the only color they had. There you go. It looks like very plasticky, you know, very cheap feeling, but it was a dollar. It's actually not too bad, like the packaging isn't too bad for it being a dollar. So let's get the Real Techniques contour brush and start contour hello pigment where are you oh god oh my god it looks like i just took a poo and literally like stuck the piece of turd on my face like not even like no wow Okay, that's like a little bit better. Not the best, but better. Let's see without, like with whatever, just it's just there already. I think that would have been so much better. Oh my God, it still has so much product in here. What the hell? I know I did dip it in there a lot cause I, I didn't see anything coming out, but like, holy cannoli. But this side does look better because it wasn't with as much. It's that side, oh my God. Right now, I have to contour my forehead. JK, it's a 10 head. We all know that. It actually doesn't look too bad on like the forehead area. That actually looks pretty good, even in the mirror. So, yeah, not gonna lie, this bronzer is more of like a warm tone, like reddish bronzer that leaves you looking a little bit more red than bronzy but it's not too bad you know what i mean and then i wasn't gonna set anything but i'm just gonna use this real techniques foundation brush to like see how this works gonna set the face you know because we don't want it to melt off even though we don't want it to melt off because even though like after this i'm taking it off because this isn't it it just really isn't it but next let's go in let's just go in with eyeshadow oh with eyeshadow which no surprise it's also la colors i feel like they have like all of the la colors all up in that base i think the only thing that's not la colors it's literally the color mats color mates color mates not mats color mates um eyebrow product yeah and everything else is la colors so this is, you know, we can call it a, a Dollar Tree makeup look or an LA looks makeup look. LA colors, not LA looks. This is the eyeshadow in the color Beauty, in the shade range, I guess. Beauty. So like usual with like, like more like cheap from foundations. No. Um, eyeshadows. They don't have the name on the front. So, so you would have to like, oh, it's this color, this color. But they're pretty long shadows and they look pretty nice. Um, we have two mattes and four shimmers just to go in. I feel like they didn't really give you like a good transition shade. I feel like that one's already kind of like pretty darkish. But that's that's going to be our transition shade. Okay. So we're going to go in with that kind of like warm, more warm toned um, brown. And let's see how it how it goes on. Not gonna lie, 
it's more pigment than I expected it to have. Um, blendability wise, um, it's not bad to blend, but I feel like as you're blending, you're losing um, quite a lot of the pigment. But you can always pack more on there. It's not that deep, you know, and just really work it in there. Work it into that crease. It actually looks pretty good like pigmentation on the on the camera. Does this look weird like me talking to you guys like doing this to my eye? Does that make you uncomfortable? I'm sorry if it does. Do you guys feel like you can never get both eyes the same? Because I feel that way all the time. Okay, so this is how they both look without the shimmer. So now for shimmer, I feel like the one that goes the best is literally this one that's next to it. So we're going to do that with the finger because usually when you do it with the fingers, when you use shimmer shadows with your finger, they come out better. Not going to lie, it feels pretty smooth. I like the feeling of it. So let's jump right in. Ooh, she, she kind of pigmented. Wow, look at her, crazy. We're gonna double dip because we can. And we're gonna, ooh, add some more color. Color. Okay, so we're gonna use this to blend. With nothing on the brush, I didn't add anything else on the brush. I just, I'm trying to blend it again. Not gonna lie, the pigmentation is there. I feel like LA Colors, you're doing good with your palette, with your eye palettes. Everything else can use a little bit of work, but the palette, I'm really digging it. So I'm gonna use that brush again to blend it all out. That was it for the eyeshadow. I feel like for the price of the eyeshadows, which is a dollar for one, two, three, four, five, for six shades, a dollar for six shades. It's actually really nice. Um, I feel like I would keep this and maybe use it again if I just need like a nice shimmery shade. I think this would be really nice. Um, I'll swatch the rest of the shades for you guys in a little bit. But let's just keep on with the makeup look. Oh god, I think I did the wrong color for the lip gloss. Oh well, we're going to work with this because we already did this. So next we have this little mascara from LA Colors. This one is for lengthen or lengthening the lashes. Big lashes mascara. So let's try it out. They did have a wet and wild one in blue. But I already have that one because I wanted to try it out. Which is actually not bad, and it's just a dollar, so that one I kind of recommend. This one, we have to see. It's in the color Beyond Black. Oh my goodness. She's thick. She's thick. Please don't fall. So this is the size of the wand. Okay, so I won't focus, but you kind of get the gist of the size of the wand. So I'm going to put on my mascara now. If I bend down, I am sorry. I'm going to try to hold this up, the mirror. Just so like you guys can see it. See that I'm using the actual mascara and not like googing you guys. Okay, so I stopped filming and I think it just stopped filming when I was doing this one. But what I was saying when I was talking to myself was that um, I'm very picky when it comes to mascara because I have a lot of allergic reactions to them. So... It's very hard for me. I feel like this literally has like no product. I'm out here like fighting this and nothing. Let me bring it a little bit close. Oh, it was already zoomed in. Lols. I thought I had to read zoom in. I was like, wow, it's actually pretty zoomed in. Um. But yeah, not a fan of this one. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend this one. Unless you're like younger, like middle school and stuff like that. And you just literally want to use this one. I guess this one's not too bad for like day-to-day -day wearing foundation. Not foundation. This is not foundation. Um, 
day to day mascara is what I meant to say it's not too bad or like if you want it for like touch ups it's a really small one but I mean mascaras aren't usually too like uncomfortable to carry around for touch ups and stuff so I feel like if you're starting off makeup or you're a little younger I feel like this one's the one or if you just don't really want to go and spend that much money on it this one's not bad but your lashes are not going to look like whoa I mean, what I usually do after I put on mascara anyways, I do this to my lashes. Just so, like, I curl them myself with my fingers. I don't lose... I do this. This looks pretty weird. I don't lose... I don't use. Not lose. I don't use... I, this, that literally did nothing with this mascara, but that's fine. Um, I don't use eyelash curlers because I'm scared that I'm gonna, like, chop it off. Like, chop off my lashes. No. It's so scary. So, the mascara, I give it, like, a... Let's just give it a... 3.5 out of 10. 3.5 out of 10. The eyeshadows, I give it like an 8 out of 10. They're like surprisingly really good. At least the two that I tried. I'm going to swatch them for you guys so you can see. I don't remember if I said this, but this honestly, I give it like a 2. So last but not least, we have lip gloss. And obviously, it's none other than LA Colors. Like, because... That's literally it. So this is more of like a berry color, um, which I didn't notice when I did my eyeshadow that it was this one. Because I literally, there's a berry tone in there and I didn't use it, but it's fine. Whatever. It's a little bit late now. Let's see how it is. I do have a little bit of lip balm on my lips right now, so let's try to remove that. Because we don't need none of that. Okay, let's do this ish. It doesn't look as bad on camera as it does in like real life. Oh my god. This is why I don't wear like red colors. Uh. Oh my god. Who is she? No. This looks like Okay, so this looks like more like a lipstick that my grandma would wear. Not for me. Don't like the color. I feel like with the eyeshadow now, I made the eyeshadow look more yellow. Which I love yellow. It's my favorite color. But this lipstick isn't it. I do like the smell of it. There's that. But I feel like... No. It just doesn't look good on me. I feel like maybe some people can pull it off. But I can't. I really can't pull it off. Like, it has a nice shine to it and stuff, but I just, it's not for me. This color was not made for me, but it's fine. Guys, this is a finished makeup look. So, we can like pan out. Why well, just zoomed in? I can never like pose for these to be like, Ooh, like you know how people are like or like they get like the the circular blush and they're like I, I don't have a blush oh, ooh. <laughs> but yeah this is what it looks like um like I said not a fan of the look like really not a fan like no the only thing I enjoyed was like the eyeshadow literally so now I'm gonna swatch the shadows for you guys. So we're like, we're gonna zoom it in. Okay guys, so these are the colors. Oh my God, I did it like on the wrong part of my hand. <laughs> um, these are the colors. Um, The lightest one, you can't really see it. The lightest one is like right here. You can't really see it, but you can see it more like here and like the darker part on my skin. But yeah, these are the colors. I think they're pretty pigmented, you know what I mean? For being $1 colors, they're pretty pigmented. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below any other ideas or videos you guys would like to see from me. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.